so I hope you all will be fine and doing well at your respective places and enjoying the holy month of Ramadan. In the previous lectures, we discussed the, the business plan, then the marketing plan, and now in continuation of the uh, marketing plan, we have to discuss the organizational plan. What is organizational plan? Organizational plan is actually the layout of the total organization. The different positions within the organization from top to the bottom. The top positions, for example, the chief executive and the chairman of the company, they have more powers and more responsibilities because this is the top leadership of the organizations and their responsibility is to move the organization to the vision for which it is created. Then it, the middle management and then the lower management, then the technical or supervisory staff and then the workers. Each position in the organization has been assigned a job discussion that shows the key performance indicators for the person who will learn that formal position in the organization. For example, the chief executive officer in any corporation, multinational company, public limited company is the captain of the show. So he has the responsibility to successfully implement the organizational strategic plans and short term plans. Also see the overall operations, the, see the supply chain, see the uh, processing, uh, how the products and services have been produced by your organization in the manufacturing plant are if you have outsourced them and then the finished products to the markets how the logistics move the marketing move the products to the markets what are the promotional activities that the end customer should yeah, the, the target group should be aware of the product uh, the product should be easily available to them and the price should be reasonable as per their psychographic analysis you have did that to what extent they can purchase product depending on the income and its distribution. I have to just close it. Okay, so we were uh, interested in the marketing aspects. All this is written in the organograms, the organizational grams. When you go to any organization, they will have an organizational chart in their offices that will clearly lay out the whole formal positions within the organization from chairman chief executive officer, different directors, finance director, marketing director, human resource management director, uh, security director, IT and uh, director procurement, your yeah, director pro production. So these are, if you see the example of, I can give you short two examples dear students that will very much clear to you the uh, how organization works up how the, the different positions with the organization works if you see ptc ptc is a multinational company public limited company listed in the stock exchange from 1947 they are doing their job in pakistan chief executive see the supply chains the 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 steady flow of tobacco and other materials to 
the two factories one is in jhelum and the other is in akola khatak then there are different warehouse they have erp system enterprise resource planning system where they put their marketing uh, forecasts that how much sales let's say will be in may 2020 and june 2020 on that forecast they then demand to their suppliers to provide them the uh, raw material beforehand and the spares and other things the, hum- the human resources required i literally means men machine and material and how they will process it so this is the position of chief exec they keep performances to see the overall the holistic Uh, uh the holistic uh, scenario of the whole business form and then the marketing so he has the, the, the chief executive officer along with directors are mainly responsible for the success or failure of any organization so they have to keep a uh, very close eye on different details especially uh, whether they are moving as per the road map or not now come to the first slide developing the management team as we have discussed elaborated in the previous lecture and today's lecture that the management team is very much important and the investors are mainly uh, focused uh, and uh, interested in who are running actually the show i the business show i the business organization that is private limited company that is public limited company that is partnership that is even sole proprietor investors if you go for loan he will only give you loan if you have a uh, a credential a positive credential for them by character capacity collateral things like that with not really uh, normally the bankers check the previous checks previous your loans and uh, payment loans and uh, पेमेंट लोन जो है दोबारा उसको बैंक्स को वापस करना ये रिकॉर्ड जो है रखा जाता है तो टॉप मैनेजमेंट बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है चाहे वो बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो चाहे वो कोई पॉलिटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो चाहे एक मुल्क की गवर्नमेंट हो तो इट्स द लीडर्स द कैबिनेट एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर द प्रेजिडेंट हु इज एक्चुअली मूव द होल कंट्री टू अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन आदर पॉजिटिव और negative example is simple you see urdgan in turkey in the last 15 years 10 to 15 years he has improved the many financial indicators of uh, growth and development of the turkish nation on the other hand if we see pakistan in the last 10 to 15 years we are in doldrums up and downs no smooth up no no smooth run there are changes in our debt has increased in other issues so as it is in you and as an in investor you should see yeah the investor will see the management team their credibility their expertise their previous experience if it's good if it has a, a, a better history of past pass success then they will invest in your organization it is assumed that the management team is prepared to operate to business full time and at modest salary and on the other hand an attempt to draw large salary out of the new venture may be perceived as lack of commitment you can i have focused on the word lack of commitment if the management and uh, as a whole are increasing their works and benefits at the cost of the profitability of the organization or the cost of the shareholders wealth maximization then the investors the prospective lenders banks and the government agencies see at the organization with a with a gray eyes are they didn't these are not good indicators for the long term growth and commitment from the other stakeholders who will invest in your business now come to a different legal forms of organizations as we uh, go back to the human civilization we see that the oldest form of any business is proprietorship 
when the human civilization moved from barter to trade that people uh, like the goldsmith like the uh, people with some food in the villages they kept some food and then they give on money what is money money is the medium of exchange okay this is all together in the respect of uh, the monetary system which we will not discuss here but very important one you must should see when you have time how the monetary systems work around the globe international monetary fund world bank the state bank and the other banks working within the country so single owner unlimited liability controls the decision receives all profits this is the main characteristics of proprietorship now going to partnership two or more individuals having unlimited liability who have full resources to own a business that is called that is called what that is called basically a partnership partnership comes in pakistan under the 1932 act of partnership which has been incorporated in constitution of pakistan and uh, the partnership is formed through a partnership deed which is a contract or agreement between the partners regarding the mode of business the name of the business uh, how much investment each partner will have and who will actually run the business the partners or they will hire some managers and other people for it partnership is the a higher form it requires more liquidity more capital than the sole proprietorship but if your business is expanding or the as the human needs the population has grown in the last two centuries in the last two centuries we found the emergence of a new form of business organization that is multinational companies corporation or public limited company east india company was one example uh, dutch east india company and there are so many examples of multinational company why multinational company over here the risk is minimized as there is more risk in sole proprietorship in partnership the risk to the shareholder is minimized while the actual company runs is is run by professional management you are experts jaise kehte hain work specialization ka concept jo management hai with the people who are specialized in the work, marketing production it finance operations uh, security people like them they run the actual business while the shareholders only purchase the shares and in the annual journal meeting they discuss the the performance of the company and the future direction and give vote on that so the actual company is owned by the shareholders but it is run by the <coughs> specialized management sorry so it why it is divided is divided because of the theory uh the agency theory that the conflict of shareholders and the management administration within the organization has been resolved in this way and it has given the uh, corporation which is an artificial legal entity like human beings it is a citizen so we call all corporation corporate citizen and they pay uh, a tax which is called corporate tax it is Uh, not the tax which is paid by the shareholders in the form of uh, dividends paid to them and tax deducted on their dividends from the shareholders so the concept double taxation uh, separation of management and ownership uh, while the common see while uh, transferability of ownership by you can sell and purchase the share of the company are the common features of any corporation the corporation has a, a very big impact in the last two centuries on the uh, whole affairs of the human civilization from business from politics from education all the spheres of human life have greatly influenced by corporation uh, let's see the recent trends in the last 20 years the uh, the facebook the windows the facebook and the, the what we call the different social media groups that twitter and uh, 
the Microsoft Teams, all this has enabled the world that it is like a village or uh, rooms in the same home. You are sitting in America and I am sitting in Pakistan and we can communicate through these mediums. We can transact, our, we can do our business transaction, business activity. So business and trade has increased due to corporation and around the globe the huge junk of business has been controlled by the multinational companies. Mm -hmm. Almost 80% of the trade and commerce activities around the globe are carried out by multinational companies like in Pakistan, Unilever, Total, Shell and uh, what we call the uh, Pakistan Tobacco, Philip and Morris. There are, there are few examples and again SBC, the Citibank, the uh, Starbucks, the McDonald's, KFC, they are examples of internalization of the uh, corporation are uh, what we call the free market economy and it, this is not only economic transaction it is a whole philosophy of life they have different uh, cultures role models which they promote and for that you have to acquire certain set of skills and at in, uh, inculcate certain set of attitude in you so that you can become a successful manager in those corporations or you can firm your own company like the Bill Gates did, the Steve Jobs did, like uh, in Pakistan, Jangir Tareen example, he produced many companies and so it is all about corporation, I think students, is, it is, enough. It is a, uh, quite a hell of information still but we can discuss it on some other appropriate forum due to time constraint and other things. So next is the different forms of legal uh, legal forms of businesses, limited liability which has limited liability uh, like the public limited company and in USA there is a limited liability partnership where the liability of the partners are limited in e, uh, even in multinational uh, private uh, limited companies some of the, if the agreement, the article of uh, association provide, then some of the, the partners may have less liability compared to other partners. Single member company is introduced in Pakistan 2000 under ordinance by the uh, then army chief and the military leader Musharraf to uh, infuse to invite for uh, Pakistani nationals working abroad who have who are experts in their different fields and who are contributing to the national economies of the Western world he he want to give them incentives so that they can make their own company in Pakistan and run it the way they like but in this way transfer of technology transfer of skills and again economic activities uh, was the objectives of this form of company and which to some extent achieved their objectives if we see the economic indicators in the Musharraf government. Now the forms of business, uh, the ownership, ownership, partnership may individually, aapka paisa hai, aapne all X are in your basket. In partnership, different partners X are in one basket that is partnership firm, all they all the partners contribute and then they share the profit or losses per, as per set formula and the agreement. Corporation, no limitation on the number of stockholders, but there is limitations on the number of shares issued in the market. If there are 5000 shares of uh, any company floating in the mar market, so if each shareholder has one share there will be 500 shareholders in 500 usme jo hai uske owner us honge aur agar har ek bande ke paas ek ek hazar share hain to that means ki uske panch jo hain owner honge aur jo management hogi wo alag hogi theek hai liability of owner jo hai wo unlimited hai proprietorship mein bhi partnership mein if otherwise clearly mentioned in the uh, deed partnership deed theek hai ji or corporation may jo hai liability is only to the extent of shares you are owning in a company if 
let's say I have 50 shares in PTCL each year value is 100 rupees that means I uh, if I uh, the company de uh, defaults liquidates I will lose 500 rupees okay not more than that cost of starting business is is uh, understand from the proprietorship so with less capital you can start it in partnership more capital are required for example you want to start individual store retail store shop in a street will it, is, it will not require much money but if you want to start a cng it will a cng station it will require more money and then if you didn't have the money you will include someone and when you include someone you will go towards partnership again if your partnership uh, your business expands and now you want to uh, produce commodities on economies of scale you will go towards corporation liability un unlimited unlimited otherwise clearly written in the partnership deed limited to the amount of shares we have cost of starting less partnership more in corporation huge huge capital is needed but uh, the corporation is formed in a way that you can uh, generate the capital for the formation of company or the promoters who normally make the companies by by floating the shares through prospectus to the uh, targeted investors and taking loans from the banks now come to the transferability proprietorship you can sell it your interest to anyone in partnership you cannot sell unless and until the other partners in the firm does not have concern normally in partnership you cannot sell your share to some outsider in corporation you can sell anytime your shares while in private limited companies you can again not uh, sell your share in the company unless the other members of the private limited company does not allow you or there is provision the article of association capital requirements less capital partnership uh, more than proprietorship company firm organization huge capital some of the budgets of the multinational companies are uh, even more than the total budget of the development developing countries around the world so you can imagine how much uh, resources are required for making a corporation and how big that organization and resources are at their disposal that is why they have almost 80 percent business total business and commerce around the world management control in prop Proprietorship, you are the owner, you are the controller. In partnerships, the partners who actually run. In corporation, the day-to-day -day affairs are by the management. They are specialized in their respective fields, marketing, production, finance, etc. Distribution of profits is you are the owner, all profits go to your pocket. In partnership, it will be divided among the partners. In corporation, uh, the shareholders are paid in the form of dividends. The dividend is the uh, some portion of the total profit of corporation distributed among the owners of the corporation who are called shareholders. Attractiveness of raising capital not very much attractive or again depends on the capability of proprietor. In partnership again dependent the, the partners of the firm while in corporation the most attractive form of investment normally people uh, go to uh, purchase the shares because they know that the prospects are very high of the return coming to the next slide that is the limited liability it is a form of partnership or a hybrid of partnership and public limited company which has both the 
uh, features. In Pakistan, we can say that uh, private limited company is a hybrid form of which has uh, some features of the corporations while it has some features of the partnership as there, are, there should be from 1 to 50 members in any private limited company in Pakistan while they are lifetime uh, owners they cannot easily transfer their ownership to some uh, outsider and the management normally is run by the owners of those companies like in Pakistan Lawrence Pur ho gaya, Gul Ahmed ho gaya, J. Dot ho gaya, hai na? these are a different limited liability has members this may members of the he can agree this may shareholders in the like partnership no share shares issued each member owns an interest as designated by the article of organization this is our article of association getting he can agree Pakistan mein. liability does not extend beyond members capital contribution jitni up the pasa invest ki hai 20 lakh a 30 lakh a utni up ki liability hai. सिंगल मेंबर कंपनी इज इज आप कह सकते हैं कि ये कॉर्पोरेशन है इसमें फीचर्स कॉर्पोरेशन के हैं जो 2000 में मुशर्रफ ने स्टार्ट किया टू अट्रैक्ट जो पाकिस्तानी नेशनल से मगर बाहर वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड में वो जो है जॉब कर रहे हैं बिजनेस कर रहे हैं और वो जो है पाकिस्तान में आए और अपने साथ नए स्किल्स जो है उसको लेकर आए ठीक है ना जी अब टैक्स एट्रिब्यूट्स का है limitation on losses deductible by owner jaise aapka apna paisa hai to aap jitna deduct karna chahe agar aap koi khas ek account magar tamam paisa aapke account mein aa raha hai aap khud owner hain to jo liabilities hain jo losses hain aap khud bear karenge partnership mein there may be some set formula in the partnership deed uske mutabik jo hain losses jo hain wo bardash karenge aur in corporation shareholders ki jitni investment hai utna hi unki loss hogi usse zyada nahi hogi medical benefits ke liye bhi aapke business hai usse aap jitna medical benefit rakhna chahe apne liye insurance policy le ya whatever in partnership aap jo hai koi medical benefit ke liye koi ek jo hai head bana sakte hain agar partners jo hai wo agreed hain aur it has been part of the agreement deed while in corporations, the corporation जो है वो normally जो जितनी भी employees हैं उनको medical ये benefit देता है और वो एक expense का सवर होता है on the income of the corporation ठीक है ना retirement benefits जो हैं आप अपना business है तो आप तो कभी retire होंगे नहीं that is running source of income for you same as corporation वो बना सकते हैं आप अपने लिए retirement benefits मार पार्टनरशिप में अगर आप कुछ उसमें पेंशन फंड बनाते हैं ठीक है ना जी या ग्रेजुएटी का कुछ कॉन्सेप्ट रखते हैं और कॉरपोरेशंस में भी ये चीजें होती है नाउ कम टू द एंड ऑफ आवर लेक्चर वी विल एंड आवर लेक्चर ऑन अ फेमस सेइंग ऑफ ए एंटरप्रेन्योर हुज नेम इज जॉन what he says he says that a ship is in the harbor a ship in the harbor is safe you can understand that a ship does not move to water it will be definitely safe but what he says in the next half of the sentence that that is not what the ships are built for the ships are does not fit off, uh, built for that they will uh, stand on the harbor. They are built for that they will go around in the sea, a, in the canals, and uh, move goods and people around the world. It will be used for trade and other military and other bases. So, what is the message? The message is that unless an interview does not take a risk cannot become an entrepreneur but that it should be calculated and how you will make it calculate you should properly make an organization for it you should clearly define different roles in the organization different positions and role assigned to those roles and then 
their key performance indicators in the form of job description, job responsibilities, and then there is a check on their job by the immediate uh, boss or administrator, and then the reward and punishment uh, process in the organization so that people uh, does not deviate from the rules and regulations of the organization. Hope uh, it will be informative for all of you students. Your thank thanks for your patient listening. Your questions will be uh, definitely uh, welcome as I believe in uh, dialogue and thesis and antithesis. Whatever is written, it, it can be challenged, it can be criticized, it should be a critical view. Make questions, take a link, read in a kind. It may have a link, you can hear the development of you. Inshallah, the lap to our own life session. I got a post me, it is inshallah, the lap fully discuss. Karengi, see you in the live session. Stay safe and blessed. Good afternoon.